Good morning, friends. In this session, we will solve numericals pertaining to LMTD method. Hope that you have gone through the last lecture and you may probably know that LMTD method is used when inlet and exit fluid temperatures associated with a heat exchanger is known. The first question is, the flow rates of hot and cold water streams running through a parallel flow heat exchanger are 0.2 kilograms per second and 0.5 kilograms per second respectively. The inlet temperatures on the hot and cold sides are 75 degrees Celsius and 20 degrees Celsius respectively. The exit temperature of hot water is 45 degrees Celsius. If the individual heat transfer coefficients on both sides are 650 watts per meter square degree Celsius, calculate the area of the heat exchanger. So basically this is a problem related to a parallel flow heat exchanger and the given data are mass flow rate of hot fluid is 0.2 kilograms per second mass flow rate of cold fluid 0.5 kilograms per second then inlet temperature of the hot fluid 75 degrees celsius inlet temperature of the cold fluid 20 degrees celsius exit temperature of the hot fluid th2 is 45 degrees celsius and it's given that the heat transfer coefficient on the inner and outer sides that is hi and ho is 60 650 watts per meter square degree celsius on both sides we have water as the working fluid that is uh, cp of hot fluid and cp of cold fluid is taken as the cp of water that is 4.2 kilojoules per kilogram kelvin from the data book in this question we are supposed to find out what is the area of the heat exchanger we know that heat transfer rate associated with a heat exchanger q is given by the expression q is equal to u into a into theta m where u is the overall heat transfer coefficient a is the area of the heat exchanger and theta m is the logarithmic mean temperature difference or lmtt so if you find q u theta m and substitute in this equation you'll be able to find out a that is the area of the heat exchanger so we'll evaluate q u and theta m first we'll start with theta m that is lmtd theta m to find out the lmtd of a parallel flow heat exchanger we need all the four temperatures that is the inlet and exit temperatures of hot and cold fluid here we can see that only three temperatures are available and we have to uh, find the outlet temperature of the cold fluid if you want to find out the lmtd the outlet temperature of the cold fluid can be obtained by applying energy balance to the heat exchanger energy balance to the heat exchanger means heat lost from the hot fluid will be equal to heat gained by the cold fluid that is energy balance when applied to the heat exchanger so heat loss by the hot fluid can be represented by the mcp delta t experienced by the hot fluid and heat gained by the cold fluid can be represented by using the mcp delta t associated with the cold fluid so if you write it is m dot h cph into delta t associated with the hot fluid and m dot c cpc tc2 minus tc1 is the temperature difference associated with the cold fluid so if you consider this equation all the temperatures all the parameters except tc2 that is exit temperature of the cold fluid is known so if we substitute all the values we can get the exit temperature of the cold fluid as 32 degrees celsius now we have all the four temperatures and we can find out what is the lmtd the lmtd for a parallel flow heat exchanger is given by the equation theta m is equal to t h1 minus tc1 minus th2 minus tc2 divided by ln of th1 minus tc1 divided by th2 minus tc2 and this equation is available in the data book so if you substitute now we have all the temperature values if you substitute the temperature values you can get the lmtd value as theta m is equal to 29.12 degrees celsius if you substitute all these values in this equation you'll be getting lmtd as 29.12 degree celsius next we have to find out what is the overall heat transfer coefficient we know that overall heat transfer coefficient can be approximated by the equation 1 by u is equal to 1 by hi plus 1 by ho from the last lecture 
in this question it is given that your hi and ho are same which is equal to 650 watts per meter square degree celsius when substituting this value to this equation you can get the value of overall heat transfer coefficient as u is equal to 325 watts per meter square degree celsius next we will find out what is the value of heat transfer rate q next we will find out the heat transfer rate associated with the heat exchanger q heat transfer rate associated with the heat exchanger q can be obtained by finding out the mcp delta t associated with the hot fluid or mcp associated with the mcp delta t associated with the cold fluid so here we consider q as mcp delta t of hot fluid m dot h is the mass flow rate of the hot fluid cp h is the specific capacity of the hot fluid and th1 minus th2 is the delta t associated with the hot fluid if we substitute all the values for this you will get the heat transfer weight q is equal to 25200 joules per second now we have the value of q u and theta n. we have the expression for q as q in terms of lmtd as q is equal to u into a into theta m from here you can write the heat exchanger area a is equal to q by u into theta m if you substitute the value of q u and theta m in this particular equation you will get the heat transfer area associated with the heat exchanger that is the heat exchanger area is given by a is equal to or it is obtained as a equal to 2.42 meter square the next problem is related to a counterflow heat exchanger. In a counterflow double pipe heat exchanger, water is heated from 25 degrees Celsius to 65 degrees Celsius by an oil with a specific capacity of 1.45 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin and mass flow rate of 0.9 kilograms per second. The oil is cooled from 230 degrees Celsius to 160 degrees Celsius. If the overall heat transfer coefficient is 420 watts per meter square degree Celsius, calculate the following. one. The rate of heat transfer to the mass flow rate of water three the surface area of the heat exchanger in this problem the hot fluid is oil and cold fluid is water the cold fluid that is water is heated from 25 degrees celsius to 65 degrees celsius and the oil is cooled from 230 degrees celsius to 160 degrees celsius so the given values are mass flow rate of the hot fluid is 0.9 kilograms per second that is mass flow rate of oil the inlet temperature of the cold fluid and exit temperature of the cold fluid that is water are 25 degrees celsius and 65 degrees celsius the inlet and exit temperature of the hot fluid that is oil is 230 degrees celsius and 160 degrees celsius Specific heat capacity of the oil that is hot fluid is given as 1.45 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin and specific heat capacity of water is taken as 4.2 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin which is available in the data book. In addition to this overall heat transfer coefficient U is given as 420 watts per meter square degree Celsius. Now we will start with the first one that is rate of heat transfer. Rate of heat transfer Q is given by mcp delta t of hot fluid or cold fluid here mcp delta the mass flow rate of cold flow hot fluid is known so we will take mcp delta t of hot fluid so mcp and delta t of hot fluid is known or it is given so substituting the respective values we will get heat transfer as 91.35 kilojoules per second the next is mass flow rate of water water is the cold fluid mass flow rate of water or cold fluid can be obtained by applying energy balance to the heat exchanger applying energy balance to the heat exchanger heat loss by the hot fluid is equal to heat gain by the cold fluid that is mcp delta t of hot fluid is equal to mcp delta t of cold fluid if you consider this equation all the parameters are known except m dot c that is mass flow rate of the cold fluid if you substitute all the temperatures specific heat capacity and mass flow rate of hot fluid you, we can get the mass flow rate of cold fluid that is mass flow rate of water as m dot c is equal to 0.544 kilograms per second the next is heat exchanger surface area 
surface area of heat exchanger is given by a is equal to q by u into theta m where q is the heat transfer rate u is the overall heat transfer coefficient and theta m is the lmtd or logarithmic mean temperature difference we have already calculated q and u is given in the question so if you have theta m or lmtd we can find out what is the surface area of the heat exchanger required for this particular application lmtd of a counter flow heat exchanger is given by the expression theta m is equal to th1 minus tc2 minus th2 minus tc1 divided by ln of th1 minus tc2 divided by th2 minus tc1 we have all the temperatures that is inlet and exit temperatures of hot and cold fluids if you substitute these temperature values into this equation we can get the logarithmic mean temperature difference lmtd that is theta m as 149.49 degrees celsius so surface area of the heat exchanger is q by u into theta m we have already calculated q and u is available in the question so if you substitute theta m q and u in this equation we can get the heat exchanger surface area as area a equal to 1.455 meter next problem a counter flow heat exchanger through which passes 12.5 kilograms per second of air to be cooled from 540 degrees celsius to 146 degrees celsius contains 4200 tubes each having a diameter of 30 mm the inlet and outlet temperatures of cold water are 25 degrees celsius and 75 degrees celsius respectively if the water side resistance to flow is negligible calculate the tube length required for this duty this is your question from this question we can understand that is a counter flow heat exchanger and the hot fluid is air the mass flow rate of hot fluid is 12.5 kilograms per second that is mass flow rate of air is 12.5 kilograms per second and the hot fluid is cooled from 540 degrees celsius to 146 degrees celsius air is cooled from so inlet temperature of air is 540 degrees celsius and exit temperature is 146 degrees celsius so uh, <coughs> the fluid hot fluid is air and cold fluid is water cold fluid is flowing through outside and hot fluid is flowing through tubes and uh, in this question the number of tubes it's mentioned as 4200 instead of this arrangement you instead of single tube you have 4200 such tubes through which hot fluid that is air is flowing and the cold fluid is water it is flowing through outer surface of these tubes and uh, cold water or the cold fluid is heated from a temperature of 25 degrees celsius to a temperature of 75 degrees celsius the number of tubes is 4200 and each tube through which the hot fluid or air passes has a diameter of 0 0.03 meters that is 30 mm it is also mentioned that the resistance on the water side that is outer surface of this tube we have water and the resistance is negligible that means the resistance is negligible means h0 heat transfer coefficient is because uh, convective resistance on the outer surface is 1 by hca corresponding to outer surface so h0 is 0 and for water we take specific heat capacity as 4.2 kilojoules per kilogram kelvin in this question you are asked to find out the length of the tube required we know that surface area of the heat exchanger is given by a is equal to q by u into theta m where q is the heat transfer rate u is the overall heat transfer coefficient and theta m is the lmtd so if you have q u and theta m we can find out what is the area of the heat exchanger the surface area a of the heat exchanger is provided by the curved surface of the inner tubes for a single tube the curved surface area is pi dl we have n tubes so the surface area of the heat exchanger is given by the curved surface area of n tubes that is n into pi dl so this area can be represented by the equation n into pi dl where l is the length of the heat exchanger tube so uh, our requirement is to find out this l that is l length of the heat exchanger 
tube. So if you can find out area, we can find out the length of the heat exchanger tube. So uh, to find out the area, we will evaluate these parameters first Q, U and theta M. We will start with overall heat transfer coefficient U. Overall heat transfer coefficient U is given by the expression 1 by U equal to 1 by H I plus 1 by H O. In this problem, it is given that H O is 0. So if you substitute H O equal to 0 in this equation of overall heat transfer coefficient, you will get U is equal to H I. That is to find out U, we have to evaluate H I. H I is heat transfer coefficient based on inner surface of the tube. To evaluate that, we have to consider flow through the tube that is flow of hot fluid that is air through the tube we have to consider internal flow we have already considered internal flow to evaluate heat transfer coefficient or Nusselt number in the second module we will be following same procedure to evaluate heat transfer coefficient by considering internal flow through this particular pipe also so heat transfer coefficient hi you have to consider internal flow for finding out heat transfer coefficient from internal flow, first we have to consider or first we have to find out whether the flow through the pipe is laminar or turbulent. If, in that view, we will find out what is the Reynolds number associated with the internal flow. Reynolds number R is given by Vd by nu, where V is the velocity of flow. We can find out the velocity of flow from the mass flow rate expression of the hot fluid mass flow rate of hot fluid is given by n into rho a v we have n tubes for one tube it is rho a v for n tubes it is n into rho a v a is pi d square by 4 where d is the diameter of the tube so to evaluate flow velocity and reynolds number fluid properties are required in the case of internal flow fluid properties are evaluated at bulk mean temperature it is the average of temperature at inlet and the exit section corresponding to internal flow in this case it is the average of 540 degrees celsius and 146 degrees celsius that is 343 degrees celsius from the data book properties of air at bulk mean temperature are obtained flow velocity can be obtained from the expression of mass flow rate by substituting m dot h n rho and d and hence V is obtained as 7.44 meters per second. Substituting V in the expression of Reynolds number gives Reynolds number RE is equal to 4024.522, which is greater than 2300, which is the critical Reynolds number for internal flow. Thus, we can conclude that the flow through the pipe is turbulent. For fully developed turbulent flow, Nusselt number can be obtained from the expression which is known as dittes volter equation given by Nusselt number is equal to 0 0.023, RE raised to 0 0.8, Randall number raised to 0 0.3. 0 0.3 is for cooling of fluids and this expression is available in data book. If you substitute the value of Reynolds number and Prandtl number, we will get Nusselt number as NU is equal to 15.65. We have the expression of Nusselt number in terms of heat transfer coefficient as Nusselt number is equal to HD by K, where D is the diameter, K is the thermal conductivity of the fluid, and H is the heat transfer coefficient. If you substitute Nusselt number D and K, we, we can evaluate heat transfer coefficient HI as 25.6 watts per meter square degree celsius there's a heat transfer coefficient corresponding to inner surface of the heat exchanger tube and we we know that this hi is equal to u that is overall heat transfer coefficient in this particular problem next we will find out the rate of heat transfer rate of heat transfer q is obtained by considering the mcp delta t of hot fluid Q is equal to M into Cp into delta T. M is the mass flow rate, Cp is the hot uh, specific capacity, and delta T is the temperature difference experienced by the hot flow. And by substituting suitable values, you will get Q as 5215.575 kilojoules per second. 
LMTD for a counter flow heat exchanger can be evaluated from the expression LMTD theta m is equal to TH1 minus TC2 minus TH2 minus TC1 divided by ln of TH1 minus TC2 divided by TH2 minus TC1. This expression is available in the data book. If you substitute the values of temperatures, we will get LMTD theta m is equal to 255.5 degrees Celsius. Now we have the value of LMTD overall heat transfer coefficient and heat transfer rate. If you substitute these values in the expression for surface area of the heat exchanger A, we will get area of heat exchanger as 797.39 meter square. Substituting the value of surface area of the heat exchanger in the equation A is equal to N pi DL, we will get the length of the heat exchanger L as L is equal to 2.015 meters, which is the required solution. Thanks for listening. We'll meet in the next section. Till then.